Ok, creating sketches part 4. In this video we're going to look at linear arrays and circular arrays. Um, if you're new to using SolidWorks, please um, check out our YouTube channel and you'll see that there's a playlist um, SolidWorks for beginners in there. If you start at the very beginning and work your way through, um, just get yourself familiar with using SolidWorks. Uh, and also, we're going to be using keyboard shortcuts which we run over in one of the previous videos on how to add them and which ones to add. Um, ok, let's start. So I want to create a new part. So we'll click the paper tab up here or the little drop down arrow and select new. Click part. Click OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch to start with. So we'll hit S. We're going to click the front plane. What we'll do is we'll just I'll just show you mirroring entities because we haven't actually gone over mirroring yet. So let's do some mirroring. So let's shift L for a construction line. I'm going to object track from the origin. I'm going to pull it down past the origin. And um, we can see that that's defined because it's it's defined from the origin. Right, let's select that line and tell it we want it a sketch relation of midpoint. So now we've got a horizontal uh, vertical line with a midpoint set on the origin and fully defined. Not fully defined because we haven't got a measurement there. But say that's the center line we want to mirror something about. So let's click the circle or type C on the keyboard. Let's draw a couple of circles, just random. Right, say we want to mirror these circles about this center line. So what we'll do is we'll hit M on the keyboard for mirror. Now we can see it's saying entities to mirror. In this box is what you want to select to mirror. So we want to mirror these three circles here. Now we can either copy them or not. So let's see what it does without that. So click this. We need to select the line we want to mirror them about. Now if we click that and click tick, you see it's going to shift them to one side. Let's do that again. So hit M on the keyboard, select the three circles, click the line to mirror about, and click the checkbox on copy. Now you can see these yellow circles, they are the preview of what, what is going to happen basically. Let's click tick, and you can see that we now have a mirrored set of circles about this line here. Okay, so let's let's look at linear arrays. You can see here we've got linear sketch pattern. So let's draw a circle C on the keyboard. Let's draw it from that origin there. And let's draw a center line or a construction line from the origin off to the left. Escape to deselect everything. Okay, so we've got a circle. We've got a construction line. Let's click linear sketch pattern. You can see it's going to it's going to create the linear sketch pattern about the x-axis. You look down here, you can see that that's y, that's x. If we scroll that around, you can see that z's up there. Space bar, reset the view. Okay, so we've got the dimension and we've got the number of instances to create. But if we come down here, we've got entities to pattern. So if we click that and we click this circle, you can see now we get a yellow preview of what it's going to do. If we come across here to this measurement here, <clears throat> we type 40, you can see it's starting to space it a bit more, so let's go a bit further. So now we've got 60. So now if we click on this up arrow here on the instances, and you can see it's going to start creating more. Okay, we can also select a, another direction too, so on the y-axis this is either going to put it above or below and the same amount that we've got here. So if we um, click on the instances here and click that to 2, you can see that that's created another set. If we space that at 60 again, you can see now we've got two rows. If we click the instances and select 3, we're going to get 3 and so on and so on and so on. We can create the um, arc about different places. Uh, sorry, that's the that's linear pattern. So let's let's click tick, and we can see what that's done now. We can see that we've got a a number of circles there. So let's get rid of them, and we'll do the same, but with the circular array. So we can either click this download 
this drop down box here it gives us the other, more options we select circular array We've got a similar look down here but on this one here is the point that it's going to circular array whatever you select so down here first click this box we select the entity we want to pattern and if we come up here we can see it's already selected point one we can see here it's this is where it's selected as point one we've got the instances here we can change it here as well if we click there we can tell it how many we want at what spacing so now we've got the x-axis if we up that again to 60 now we can see that it's created a circular array from 60 mil from the center here to here and then it's arrayed if uh, four times we can uncheck equal spacing uh, and then it won't be able to keep equal spacing if we up the number here we can create more of them and so on but if we change this point now we get rid of that point that was selected there and if we select this one you can see now it's going to create the instances around that point so if we've created a dimension on this line here then that's the array is going to go around there if click tick you can see that we've got all them there okay don't want to save that let's finish up thank you for watching um, please like and subscribe um, you can see in the top right I'll put a link now to the next video and on the left I'll put a link to the previous um, thank you for watching goodbye